What up guys, this is your boy Ichiko Ote here with another video and recently Kingdom Hearts 3 got a new trailer that bust out and I think Kingdom Hearts 3 is coming out this year but I'm pretty sure the freaking big Kingdom Hearts fans if they post a comment on my video they're gonna be like he's coming out never, never but anyway guys, ah, since I'm not really super well since this channel is not really a really Kingdom Hearts channel I know there's questions to be had in Kingdom Hearts about this part of the trailer where Riku's like, I'm gonna leave my Keyblade here, I can't use it anymore, and besides, you know, I could, this could be useful to the other me, and this is probably like, what, Kingdom Hearts raising more questions, like, you get, if you're a Kingdom Hearts fan, you know, you get more questions from every Kingdom Hearts things that comes out than you do answers and sometimes to me when you analyze it you get answers but as a general person who's just looking not me myself general person who's looking at kingdom hearts even a fan that's generally looking at kingdom hearts they're like what in the world is riku talking about now i can theorize a few things he could be talking about freaking data riku for all i know or he could be talking about some weird nobody version of himself for all i know freaking too because he did have like a some type of dark form he could use so maybe he had some type of heartless infestation with that but really he was using Ansem's power but I'm not trying to even create a theory on that today today we're going to answer the more simple question what the heck does Riku's Keyblade look like in this new Kingdom Hearts 3 game what's going to be his main Keyblade and luckily some statue models had came out to show exactly what Riku's new Keyblade would look like now to tell you the truth I like well okay he had well, how many Keyblades has Riku went through so far like three or two my favorite Keyblade of his is the way to the dawn now I, I would like if he Riku had a way where he's switching these Keyblades up I do like the cycles of his life and depending on what part of his life he's in currently he kind of has a different Keyblade you know that's kind of what the story is telling it's not like Riku's doing it on purpose or anything but that's kind of how the story is floating and this Keyblade new Keyblade to me does symbolize a lighter aspect for Riku but at the same time it also matches it, it, it seems to fit well with his costume now me personally looking at it because my favorite version of Riku was the Riku at the end of Kingdom Hearts 2 that that was just a badass Riku to me that was the dope one he got his actual face back he didn't walk around looking like um looking like um what's his name um Ansem he didn't look like Ansem anymore he was looking straight up like Riku and you saw nothing but his pure skills that he learned from using the power of darkness then it transferred later on the power of light and it, it was freaking dope I mean that era where Riku had that power of darkness that was really really good but let me not go off on the tangent too long about my opinion of Riku. Let's look at this freaking Keyblade. It's I, I think it's nice. I, I'm Every time I go back, the first time I looked at this picture, I was like, no, 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 I hate that this is happening. I was mad that his freaking Keyblade was chipped. His um, Way to the Dawn Keyblade was chipped. I was like, no on that. I was like, this can't be happening. I was mad and everything. But every time I go back to this picture to look at his new Keyblade, it's, I'm slowly warming up to it little by little and i think i will end up liking it but uh the way to the dawn is just the freaking dopest thing that them changing riku's keyblade from the way to the dawn to this new keyblade would be as if they freaking f changed roxas's keyblade from the oath keeper to to the freaking um lady luck or something like that i think that's what the keyblade was called or something but that would be that's like what why would you change that now it's not equivalent i'm not saying that this keyblade would look bad on Riku as Lady Luck would on Roxas. What I'm saying is they took away something that I felt like was a mainstay for Riku. But hopefully I can kind of get into the feel of this being a mainstay for Riku because it does look like it fits his color scheme, his kind of more bulky-ish style in um, Kingdom Hearts 3. And I still think the Keyblade is dope overall. So it is just the attachment I'm getting from the first from the way to the dawn keyblade and riku that's what's kind of keeping me in there but regardless it's a change 
that I don't like, but I do agree that this is one of the times that it needs change because I think this is a change for the better. Unlike when I play something like Tekken and there's changes that I don't like and there's literally stupid changes. But this this is a good change. Despite the fact that I don't like it, this is a good change. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure to share, comment, subscribe, and always finger that like button. And if you guys want me to actually start doing more Kingdom Hearts stuff or actual really important questions, tell me down in the comments below. Peace.